So in this video, we will be talking about these two types of microcontroller or you can say Arduino Uno available in the market. So without wasting much more time, let's get started. So now before moving further, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, which is PCBWay company. So I have created these boards for my Bluetooth home automation project in my previous video using their services. To order PCB, visit pcbway.com and add dimensions and then select quantity and then select layers and then select thickness and then click code now. So they also provide other services like SMD service, assembly service and other types of services. They also create flex rigid PCBs as well. So do check out their website. The link is given in the description of this video. So now let's talk about the similarities of these two boards. Now the size of these two boards is exactly the same. Then here on both of the board we have a DC barrel jack to provide 9 to 12 volts to power up the board. Then here we have type B USB female USB port to program this board using Arduino IDE. Then we have here a reset switch on both the boards. Then here we have the IC SP connector on both of boards to reprogram or update the bootloader. Then we have here the female header pins on both the boards on both sides. Then we have a microcontroller here. This one is the microcontroller which is Atmel 80 Mega 328P. And this is the microcontroller of this board. Then on this board we have a USB to serial converter IC which is CH340G whereas on this board we have another microcontroller this is a microcontroller Atmel 80 Mega 16U2 that's why here we have another ICSP connector to reprogram or update the bootloader of this microcontroller but on this board, here we have given the some pins here on which you can either add some female header pins or male header pins to connect more sensors or modules. Then here we have a power LED here and on this board we have the power LED here. Then this board have the LED connected to pin number 13 here and TX and RX LEDs and here we also have these LEDs. Now this is all about the differences and similarities of these boards. The programming of both the boards are exactly the same. So now let's program the both of the boards one by one. So to program these boards we need a USB A to USB B cable now here I am uploading the blink code on this board now as you can see here the on LED is turned on now let's upload the code Now as you can see here the LED which is connected to pin number 13 starts blinking. Now let's upload the same code on the another board.
now here as you can see here the LED this one is connected to pin number 13 and it also starts blinking so that's it for today guys I hope you have learned something new if yes then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel for such more videos also you can follow us on Instagram